there is this technology that I believe will address basic challenges around the world. It will impact people from all walks of life, ranging from an astronaut on the mission to Mars to a farmer in remote part of Ethiopia who is relying on subsistence farming. This technology is my greatest passion, and it's called aerial robots. Aerial robots will be fundamental components of our future society. All of you, every one of you sitting here right now, will be in possession of aerial robots soon. Yeah. Well, <laughs> most of you seem a bit skeptical. <laughs> Remember, in 1902, Lord Kelvin, the famous physicist and one of the great minds of the time, said, no aeroplanes will ever be practically successful. There were some experts who were much more optimistic than Kelvin was and said it could be possible in few million years. <laughs> Yet, within a year, on the 17th of December, 1903, the Wright brothers conducted the very first successful flight test. Now most of us cannot even imagine at least intercontinental transportation without aeroplanes. Believe me, aerial robots will soon be household names. Do you think this is a toy? <laughs> this is absolutely not a toy. This is a type of unmanned aerial robot which has the potential to be used for a wide range of civil applications. For example, in agriculture, to increase productivity, or in healthcare, to take part in life-saving missions. What are unmanned aerial robots, really? These are any type of flying machines without onboard pilot. They come in different shape, size, form, or type. They can be completely autonomous, or they can be piloted from a ground station. This robot is a specific type of unmanned aerial robot, and it's called hexacopter, because it has six propellers. It can translate, rotate in different directions by changing the speeds of the propellers in a coordinated manner. This type of robots also have a capability of vertically taking off and landing, so they don't need runways like aeroplanes. This makes them extremely appealing for applications performed in congested environments, such as crowded cities. Now, more than ever, the use of unmanned aerial robots is extremely essential for the perpetuation of life. Take, for example, agriculture. Do you know that the world population in 2050 is estimated to be 9.7 billion? This is an increase by more than 30%. This means that we have to feed in the growing population with essentially less task force less arable lands than we have right now. This entails the use of effective and environmentally friendly technologies like the aerial agro-robot shown here. Your future life depends on aerial robots. The necessity to innovate in the field of aerial robotics has also created opportunities for students and researchers. For example, this hexacopter, which is modular, which can easily be assembled and disassembled, as you will see in the next movie, has been developed by a group of second-year undergraduate students of mine.
This robot is extremely light. All its mechanical structures have been 3D printed in our lab. The next movie shows you this hexacopter, this innovative hexacopter, the first prototype when it was in its concept phase. You can think of such unmanned aerial robots being easily used, easily deployed by different parties, such as first responders, like police and firefighters, even field engineers. Unmanned aerial robots have many appealing features. They are relatively cheap, the cheapest 10 euros, and they have unbounded workspace and are safe to operate, which makes them easily deployable in remote and unknown environment without endangering the human pilot's life. For example, I operated an unmanned aerial robot in Australia while being here in the Netherlands. This was actually the longest intercontinental teleoperation of aerial robots. Such appealing features of unmanned aerial robots are the reasons why, in this year alone, more than one million unmanned aerial robots have been sold only in the US. According to the European Union, this field has the potential to create more than 100,000 job opportunities. And it will have an annual economic impact of more than 10 billion euros, only in Europe in the next few years. If they have these all potential applications, if they have these many appealing features, Aren't you all wondering as to why we don't see aerial robots everywhere? I am. As any new and innovative technology, they also face serious challenges. The most serious challenge that they face right now is something that involves all of you, all of you here. That is the societal challenge. You find aerial robots extremely cool, very interesting, but then when it comes to using them for day-to-day -day activities, especially in your vicinity, you are extremely concerned about safety, security, and privacy. What if they are used to violate your privacy? What if they are used by bad actors? A lot of what-ifs. These are legitimate concerns, nonetheless, hindering the growth trajectory that our world is in by slowing down innovation, by slowing down use of technology, cannot be an appropriate solution. Remember, most of the technological innovations are originally intended to improve the quality of life. Technologies by themselves are not harmful. It is you the choices that you make can make them harmful. So it is up to you to make the right choice. Be open to new and innovative technologies. Accept working side by side with aerial robots. Adopt new rules and regulations that makes it easy to use aerial robots for civilian applications. As such, you can assist the growth that we are in. Nowadays, it's normal for all of us to carry smartphones. In the near future, it will be normal for all of us to own aerial robots in one form or another. Main aspects of your future life, for example, communication, transportation, even healthcare, highly depends on aerial robots. 
Most importantly, your children's and grandchildren's very existence, which depends on how well we use the limited resources that we have right now, extremely depends on new and innovative technologies like aerial robots. So let's embrace aerial robots and use them for the good of mankind. <laughs>